So this is my version of the uh, RC Explorer version 2.5 tricopter. Um, I built this oh, a little while ago, actually, and I uh, came pretty close to following uh, David's uh, original plans. I mean, I didn't really want to change anything that he'd uh, designed. It works for him, and I really like the simplicity of how everything's laid out. Now, this thing is in, is folded up right now. You could actually uh, put that in some luggage, I guess, or take it with you pretty darn easy, no matter where you you went. Um, but it basically just unfolds pretty simple and I'm doing it with with one hand right here not very gracefully but I did it and uh, it opens up to that which is uh, fairly big it's quite a bit bigger than uh, my quadcopter but it's super stable right now I'm running that the Hobby King board uh, the first version of the Hobby King board uh, I flashed it to the tricopter. I'm not exactly sure which version it was, but it's the most recent one, I think and uh, Last time I looked they were $14, you know, how do you get a quadcopter board for 14 bucks? So anyways um, This is my version Right here, it's just a half inch uh, wooden square wood piece here. Just buy it from the hardware store. I modified the the central design a little bit. It's the geometry is the same as his original design. I just uh, made it a little different, made it easier for me, and mounted the camera plate down below. I just uh, zip tied this on so my I can just stick my GoPro in there and tighten up the thing and and plug the uh, where's the lead hiding on me and somewhere's here plug the oh there it is right in front of me plug the lead into the side of it and you away you go just zip tied this is the part I like about it everything's zip tied on other than this and this was my thing I just glued some uh, pipe insulation on. Speed controls are zip tied on, the motors are zip tied on. Um, one thing about the motors, these shafts are pretty weak, they're the weak point in the motor. And uh, if anything's going to break it's going to be, uh, or bend, it's going to be the shaft. So if you actually what you have to do is take this bell off and put a little notch so that grub screw holds better so when you tighten it up it doesn't compress the bearing too much and then once you've done that uh, put your prop right down to the bell and then tighten your uh, fiber washer or the screw and washer down and then cut it off and that way the axe the center of the prop hub supports the shaft. It makes it a lot more durable. That's uh, one of David's suggestions, and it uh, it makes perfect sense. Um, let's just take a little quick look at the tricopter's rear yaw control. Now this, and it again, is ingenious. It's so simple. It's two uh, tricycle gear, um, landing gear for the tricycle gear, the front block, sitting one on top of the other. And it's got a piece of carbon fiber rod through it to join them together. This is glued on to the front and it's got some screws up in the top. That's a little metal gear. Uh, this one I think is a Corona Metal Gear servo. It's zip tied on. It's got a little plywood spacer just to get the alignment right. 
that's zip tied onto the boob. The motor's zip tied onto this. And I have crashed this thing. I mean, you, if, if you've seen my videos, you know that I've crashed it and I've broken motors off. I have not yet to bend a shaft. I've busted a few zip ties, but I've, you know, I've actually busted the arms. It takes minutes to change it out. One bolt. One bolt, you take that out, cut some zip ties, stick a new piece in. I've got a couple pre-drilled. Stick the bolt in, zip tie this all back on again. And probably within, uh, oh, I'd be surprised if it took you 15 minutes to repair a broken arm. And maybe five or six zip ties, something like that. It's really a simple design to repair. It's not pretty, but it's not designed to be pretty. It's designed for uh, utility work to fly, you know. If you crash it, it's not, you're not out a hundred dollar frame or, you know, even more than that for a fancy frame. This way you're out. Worst case scenario, I mean, if you bust a motor and a arm or something, you're out two dollars for wood and I think the motors and Hobby King are like 10 or 11 bucks or something. You know, it's it's not a big, big uh, ticket item. I would like to try um, a different board, controller board. Um, I've been looking at a few different ones. I'm not exactly sure what the best is. I don't need uh, super fancy. If anybody's got a good suggestion of a controller board that's uh, not huge money and works really well and is nice and stable, uh, leave me a comment below. Uh, I'm, I'm open to comments. Uh, you know, everybody's got an opinion, but uh, you just uh, leave me a comment. I'll look at them. I'll uh, research some of the boards and maybe I'll get my hands on it. One. Okay, that's it. Thanks.